Hello and welcome back to another beautiful episode of Gatsby WordPress theme development. In the previous episode, we learned about how to create the hero section and in this video, we're going to learn about how to do the header uh, with the menu items, etc. Okay, awesome. So let's do that. So, so the first thing we're going to do is copy the header. So you can go onto the GitHub repository, which is Gatsby WordPress themes, and then go on to the right you have octo tree then go on to packages source and then inside of components you have the header and you also have the icons so we need these two so let me do that so header and icons let me copy and paste that if you if i were to type everything i think it's going to take a really long time and it'll be difficult for me to complete this series hence i'm going ahead and copy pasting that okay so let's do that so you've got the icons everything all right let's close it and let me show you what hap happens over here let me explain that to you so inside of the index.js you need the seo so let's copy that as well inside of the components okay so you got the seo as well great okay so let me explain you the exp let me explain to you the seo first so so SEO is going to help you, uh, you know, add all of that OG tags and site title, etc. The title tag, okay. So you can use that, and we're going to need a couple more things. We're going to need prop types. So let's just do and class names, prop types and class names. You can install it. I have already done that. I think yeah, prop types and class name. All right, great. Now, inside over here, if you see what is this static query. So in Gatsby, there are two types of queries. One is static query and second is page query. Now in page query, you can pass the variable, but in static query, you cannot pass the variable in the query. Okay, so page query is generally done at the root level, which means if you have this templates, like this front page we created, you can do the query here in the root level, but you can't actually do inside of the layout or the header or the footer. Right, so if you want to do a query inside of a component rather than at the page level, which is the root level, you can actually use the static query. Okay, so over here, what we're doing is we're doing the static query and we are querying this site uh, metadata, title, description, author, which is basically coming from the Gatsby config.js. Uh, so you can see that we have the site metadata, title, description, author, all of that stuff, right? So it's coming from there. And then we are just, uh, you know, using the React Helmet. So we've already installed that earlier, which is React Helmet. And some of you m might already know that React Helmet allows us to insert our script, title, meta, etc. All of these elements inside of the head tag from a component. So it's just going to pass the lang attribute, the title, uh, you know, the meta, all of that. And there is a WordPress plugin available as well, which I will discuss in another episode. Uh, which will help you get all of the fields from the Yoast SEO plugin. So if you install Yoast SEO plugin, if you want all of those OG tags for Facebook and Twitter, you can get all of that using that plugin and you can query them. So we will we will come to that later. But for now, we just have your normal stuff like your title description, uh, meta description, Twitter card, all of that stuff. Okay. And then these are your default prop, prop types and these are prop types that we are using just to ensure that the component get gets what it uh, is expecting. So we have, I've explained to you about the SEO part. Uh, in the next video, we'll continue with the header. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.